You know what the best part about having a messed up head is? There's nothing that you can say to me that my brain hasn't already said, but much worse. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. This is my second video this morning, and one of the reasons I made this video is because a ton, a ton of people like tweeted at me and DM'd me on Instagram and Twitter telling me about Gabby Hanna, and they wanted me to talk about her new video because there's some very important mental health topics. So if you're not following me on Twitter, on Instagram yet, go ahead and do it. It's at The Rewired Soul, super easy. But also, I'm trying to get 10,000 followers on Instagram so I can get that dang swipe up feature, and I'm gonna be doing giveaways and stuff like that real soon here in 2019. Anyways, Gabby Hanna, hoo 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 hoo. Oh girl, <laughs> she ended 2018, you know, with uh, some drama, some difficulties, with the whole Kenta Cosmetics things, and all of that. So the question that I asked in the title is, you know, from my opinion, I don't think so. I just think, in my honest opinion, is what she said multiple times in this video, which is this. I saw this comment on my vlog channel recently that was like, listen, I don't mean this in any type of way. Like, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I feel like you don't belong in this industry. Like, you're too sensitive, you're too fragile. This isn't the industry for you. And I was like, damn, true? Because I, I am like an incredibly sensitive person, to a huge fault. It is so easy to break my heart. My feelings get hurt really easy. It's hard for me to brush stuff off. I take stuff really personally. Something that I work on, but obviously I'm not great at yet. But I'm, I'm really good at it actually in my real life with like kind of real people in real situations. I'm good at being like, oh, I'm just gonna like move on. But it's a lot harder on the internet when it kind of comes in like waves of Hey. So in this video, I wanna talk about Gabby Hanna, but it's to teach all of you about your mental health because something that I keep trying to teach you, something that I told you should be one of your goals for 2019 is to quit caring so damn much about what people think of you, all right? And like watching Gabby's video, I'm like, dang, because one of the future books I'm gonna write is about YouTuber mental health. Man, like what she was talking about, I'm like, there's so many things that I wish I wish I could teach people. So one of the themes I want you to pay attention to throughout this video is the best way to quit caring about what people think is that great old Shakespearean saying, to thine own self be true. So here's a real quick story time, all right? A lot of you know that I'm a drug addict and alcoholic in recovery. My substance is a choice, alcohol and then prescription opioids. I didn't go through treatment when I got sober. I actually went through a sober living house. And in that sober living house, we'd get drug tested random, randomly. And I was in my early days of sobriety. I got randomly drug tested. And they called me in the office because there's a sober living house manager. He calls me in the office and they were about to kick me out because my drug test popped positive for benzodiazepines. Okay, those of you who don't know what those are, those are things like Xanax, Valium, things like that. Well, that's not my drug of choice. I'm sitting there, I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? I'm like, if I'm gonna relapse, like I'm not gonna use a drug that I don't like. I'm gonna use one that I do like. Well, at this point in early recovery, and a lot of my fellow recovering um, addicts and alcoholics out there, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of people don't trust you. So this was my last chance with my mom, too. So like, if I relapsed in that house and got kicked out, she would have put me on the streets. So when my mom found out about this, and she was a clinical director at an outpatient treatment center, like she offered to have my um, my pee test like fully analyzed. So those of you who don't know, a little urine test when you pee in a cup, it is not that great, okay? Like it can give you a rough idea, but in order to get an accurate reading, you have to send it out to a lab and they can see exactly what you did. Like one of my favorite things working in a drug and alcohol rehab was when people would try to argue against like the full analysis of their urine. Like <laughs> those things do not mess up. Like they can tell you like how many milligrams you took of a specific pill or whatever it is, right? So anyways, they did that and it came back, and what happened was, I was on a sleep medication called trazodone, which is a non-narcotic, and what happens is, is a, in a urine test, it can pop up as a false positive. So, I was in the clear, right? Well, check this out, still to this day, right? The guy who ran that sober living house, the sober living house manager who was about to kick me out, still didn't believe that I was telling the truth. 
all right? And this is my first, my first real lesson in quit caring so much about what people think. Like, why do I care if that guy thinks that I used, right? Why do I care if that guy thinks I relapsed? And here's what I want you to know about that. Years later, that guy relapsed and I'm still sober today, all right? So think about that for a second. We let so many people and their opinions and their thoughts and their judgments and their drama, like Gabby Hanna throughout her video, she was talking about all this gossip that goes on and this speculation and you know people thinking like, oh, her ex-boyfriend this, she's not friends with the vlog squad, you know, how's her relationship with Shane Dawson and all this, like, who cares, baby? Who cares? So those of you who have been following my channel, you know that I've had, <laughs> had some of my own issues lately. I recently had Bobby Burns call me out in a video. I recently had Trisha Paytas call me out in a video. And my mom actually called me this morning. So a lot of you have met my amazing mother, Dr. Carrie Randazzo. She's starting to do some YouTube videos with me. By the way, if you're not subscribed to her yet, you need to. She has three awesome videos up and we're doing a lot more next time she comes in town in a few weeks. But anyway, she called me up this morning and she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't I be okay? And she's like, Chris, these like huge YouTubers are like talking about you. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, mom, please, like why would I care about that? Like something I'm trying to teach you guys, like through my example, I'm trying to teach you how not to care so much what people think. Like you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, I'm constantly tweeting out comments that I reply to in a joking way that are pure hatred towards me, all right? Making fun of my weight, saying I don't know what I'm talking about, just saying all sorts of nasty things and I tweet it out. I'm not doing it to gloat right? Well, I guess part of it's kind of fun, but I'm doing it to show you that you don't have to take these things so seriously and so personal. Like when I made a James Charles video the other day, or even when um, Trisha Paytas talked a bit about me in my video, I have so many of my fans, and I love you for this, like, Chris, 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 James Charles is going to have a bunch of his people come over and attack you. Ah, like, you guys, why on earth would I care if a bunch of people came to my comment section saying some stuff. So here's what I wanna to teach to not only Gabby Hanna, but all of you. Like one of the ways that I stay in this mindset and I'm not caring so much what people think is because I know, I know that my intentions are pure, okay? Like you guys, six and a half years ago, I was a scummy drug addict and alcoholic. Every single thing I did was selfish and self-centered. I would use everybody in my life to get what I wanted, all right? Whether it was to get money, whether it was to get drugs, whether it was to get alcohol, whether it was to get love, whether it was to get affection, all right? So I couldn't sleep at night because I felt like a terrible person. Today, every day, and almost every action I make, I'm checking my motives, I'm checking my intentions. Before I do every, anything, I'm like, why am I doing this? Why am I making this video? Like, trust me, there are a ton of videos that I have not made because I know my intentions were not pure, all right? I knew that if I made this video, it was not to teach anybody it was about mental health, it was to clap back at somebody. You know what I'm saying? Or it was to call somebody out, all right? And if I ever think that my intentions might not be pure, and this is something that I want you all to learn, is to ask somebody else. So I have my amazing girlfriend, Tristan, right there, and sometimes I'm like, do you think I should make a video about this? Do you think I should do that, right? I've talked to a lot of you lately about impulse control and not tweeting things out when you're very emotional, right? The best thing you can do is bounce these ideas off people, say, do you think I should do this? Do you think I should do that, right? Check your motives. So like somebody like Gabby Hanna, if your motives and intentions are pure, you have absolutely nothing to worry about, right? Like, for example, in my Trisha Paytas video yesterday where she accused me of speculating, right? Like, here's the thing. Like, do you do you realize, like, I, I know I'm not nearly as big as these other YouTubers, but like, do you know why people don't speculate about me and Tristan's relationship? Because there's not much to speculate. You know what I mean? Like I live my life in a way today where I can be completely open and honest. Like I am an open book. You guys, I can't think of too many subjects that I don't talk about on my channel because I live my life in a way, and it doesn't mean I'm better than anybody. It's just that I put in a lot of work to be a good person, to set a good example. So like Gabby Hanna talks about being a better person and growing and learning in 2019, and I, and I hope that's true. But for all of you who care far too much about what people think, what I want you to take away from this video is every single day, Wake up and ask yourself, what is your intention? What is your motive? I talked about this in uh, my Amelia Fart video, all right? Think about the person you wanna become 
And with every action you're taking, saying, is this action getting me closer to the person I wanna become, or is it moving me further away? All right, if you do that, you will most likely be on a good path. You use that as your North Star. For all of you who are concerned about the hate comments that come my way and all of that, like, please, please, please listen to me. Don't worry, don't you worry about me, because every single night, I sleep like a baby. Like some people are like, Chris, don't read the hate comments. Chris, don't respond to the hate comments. Like you guys, they don't stay on my mind. They don't get to me. I go to bed every night. If you don't believe me, tweet at Tristan. Comment DM. She sees me. I pass out like a lug every single night. Ain't that right, Tristan? <laughs> so don't worry about the hate comments coming my way. I'm doing just fine, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, is, is this something that you're working on too? Like, do you struggle with caring way too much about what people think about you? And let me know why. Like, what kind of fear is based on that? Like, let me know, let me know down in the comments. Let's do this in the comments, please, because I wanna make more videos about this and I'm curious about the psychology and mindset behind it. Why do you care so much about what people who you will never meet think about you? All right, like, let me know down in the comments why that is. I'm very curious to find out and maybe we can make some more videos or send out an email blast about it or something like that. But I need your feedback so I know what to talk about. All right, but anyways, Gabby, if you're watching this video, reach out anytime, girl, let's chat. All right, <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, you should because I have a whole bunch of brand new cool stuff kicking off on Patreon in 2019. Go check it out by clicking or tapping right there. All right, thanks again. I'll see you next time.